Okay, so walk around this uh, 1995 Land Rover Discovery 3.9 V8 ES Automatic with LPG. Um, finished in Aspen Silver with grey leather. It's got a, uh, an Irish style, well, dateless plate on it, but an Irish one. Um, external spec, headlamp wash wipe, the proper ES alloys, side steps, remote mirrors, um, roof rails with crossbars. It's also got privacy glass on it. Uh, tow pack with twin electrics. Um, that really is about it. It's in really nice shape actually. A couple of scratches on it here and there, but um, considering how these do this sort of age now, it's starting to get um, a lot of electrolytic reaction. It's very, very good. Um, let's walk around it from the front. We've got the bonnet, it's got these are just inset marks. I've just driven it 150 miles. It's got a few inset marks on it, but there is a sort of a um, couple of scuffy scratches along there. And a small one there and a small one there in the silver. Um, offside front window's got a stone hit just there. It's not window. Um, the headlamp has got a stone hit just there. It hasn't broken it. It's just cracked it slightly. Um, presumably those fog lamps work with the, uh, not fog lamps, they're spot lamps that work with the on high beam. Um, it's missing its left hand um, shroud for the headlamp wash wipe, which is headlamp wash, which is normal. Um, they always seem to disappear in the jet washes though. Looking down the near side, looks very, very straight and clean down there. We've got a um, slight scuff on the near side bumper corner, plastic trim, but that's uh, nothing to, to get excited about. Near side front wing is good, really good in fact. Um, screen, so it's got a few insect hits on it, but doesn't look like any more than that. Um, no, that's it. Near side front door couple of areas where the silver is just sort of fading very slightly there and there um, but that's really about it let's look inside the interior is really nice actually it's all been properly cleaned and everything um, leather's really good in the passenger seat doesn't smell damp or anything like that I'm sure these can do sometimes um, near side rear door is nice once again uh, nice up above the alpine windows there this one's sticking down slightly, isn't it? Let's pull that up a bit. So. Um, nice in the back there. Near side rear upper D post is fine. That's just a little bit of surface rust just coming up just there, but no more than that. Around the near side rear arch is all nice. It's really, really rather good. Um, Around the, there's a couple of sort of minor marks in the paint just here on the on the rear pillar, but no more than that. Uh, tailgate's good. A couple of tiny bubbles of electrolytic reaction just starting on the very bottom lip there. Now, of course, I've got to use the key to open this. It's one thing: the central locking doesn't work. The um, doesn't work the tailgate. You have to use a key for it. But inside it's all nice, it's got a load liner here, it's got the, the luggage cover, it's got the rear seats which fold out properly. All this is still here, which is most unusual, it normally gets kicked off. Um, it's been looked after, I think. Rear bumper's good, offside rear bumper corner's nice, and looking down the offside there's no parking dinks or dents or donks or anything, it's good. Um, a couple of minor scratches just along here, just to, uh, on the offside rear wing. That's the filler for the LPG there. There's a very, very tiny scuff about a centimetre long just there on the offside rear, um, rear arch. A couple of marks and scratches on the offside doors. There's one long scratch from there to there in the silver and a couple of minor scratches here and there. A little bit of discoloration up here. That's about it. Inside here, it's had the offside rear um, quarter obviously done at some point, this one. Um, I didn't paint it, but uh, there you go. Uh, but the interior is all nice there. Just driver's door, once again, a little bit of discoloration here and there, just in the silver and in the, in the lacquer, but no more than that. Offside front wing, it's great. Um, it's very, very nice discovery. Um, driver's screen is fine. I just think they're just inset marks. I can't see any scratches or anything in there, or stone hits. Inside on the driver's side, we've got it's remarkably good actually, considering it's done under 57,000 miles. The, um, um, the seat base is, is scuffed and the leather's quite thin, but it hasn't gone through. That's just a tiny bit of stitching that's come away on the, uh, on the base there. 
um, and the backrest is fine, that's all good. Uh, headlining's nice, interior's really nice on this one actually, it's about as nice as you'll find. Um, dash is good, door panels, everything, that's about it. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353, or in the office on 0118 946 3352, if you've got any issues or queries with regard to this uh, 1995 um, discovery. And